What's up everybody? This is Carl from Abundant Living Ecuador and today I am going on a bike ride to Vilcabamba. I have my dog Gracie who's following, following right here. There she is. There she is. And yeah, we're just going to go and stroll around town. Carnival ended yesterday, so let's go take a look at what downtown looks like. Fernando is going to be arriving, so we're going to just go and just spend the day together to see what is there to do. What does Carl do in Ilkabama, Ecuador on a Wednesday morning? We just arrived at the river. Of course, Gracie jumps in the water. She's definitely a water dog. Definitely loves the water. We have another dog uh, who doesn't like water nearly as much. There you go, Gracie. Lays in there. So this is the Vilcabamba River. All right, so while we're here waiting for Fernando, uh, he's gonna arrive in a couple hours. I'm just gonna keep going on the trail here and show you guys around. So there is part of the trail here where it starts. Uh, the trail was slightly destroyed by the river right here. Actually, you can kind of see it. Uh, and then it gets more beautiful as we keep going. There's like bamboo and stuff like that. Some forests. As you can see here, beautiful bamboo area along the river. Yeah, this is, we've been following the river all the way, the river's down there. It's beautiful to hear the sound of nature. Come for a little walk. Like I said, you could probably walk uh, for a couple hours maybe, if you walked all the trails, um, which is great. And this is a great spot for swimming, actually, right here, where they built this, this like wall area. The river is not too low, but it's not as high as it gets. Uh, you know, it will, it will reach the river bank right here when it's really raging. Right now, it's kind of a nice, uh, nice, nice flow. So once again, right here is a really good area for swimming. There's this uh, big cement slab that used to be part of that wall that kind of collapsed here. And right here, you have a, a very deep area where you can just basically immerse yourself. Uh, of course, Gracie loves it, huh, Gracie? You like it? You like it? Oh yeah, good girl. And so I'm feeling like I want to jump in. I'm feeling like I want to jump in, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I only have my underwear, but I'm just jumping my underwear right here. Alrighty. Woo. Woo, 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 woo. Woo. Feels great. Yeah, this is a great spot right here. Just to cut. <laughs> it's nice and it's nice and cold. Nice to swim in. <laughs> and oh, it's amazing. Amazing how good it feels. Just jump in the river, get the blood flowing, exercise. I'm getting back into biking. I've been pretty sedentary. I mean, not sedentary. I still go to the gym and work out, but I used to ride my bicycle a lot. Then I got a motorcycle, then I bought a car, and I'm gonna start uh, doing more, a lot more biking again. So you might see me more on the bike on some of these videos. Oh, all right. Let's get in, let's get in. Great. Wonderful. Oh, Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Definitely. The rivers here is a huge benefit of living here. Huge benefit. I used to do this a lot more. Uh, just bike and jump in the river. Feels so good. Really starts the day on the right note. I mean, it's 9 a.m. right now. Bike into town, jump in the river. Just uh, good, healthy, negative ions from the water. And that. Just check out the beauty around me. I'm gonna turn the phone around. There you go. Ooh. Now the sun is out. As you can see, it feels beautiful, nice and warm today. Uh, Fernando, I keep talking about Fernando. Fernando is our videographer, if you guys don't know who he is. He's got all the good gear, the camera, the drone, etc. And so the content quality 
is higher when Fernando's here. Now it's just me here with my Samsung. That being said, Fernando is late. He had to go to a medical appointment. So I've got 45 minutes to spend. So I'm gonna go to the gym now. We are riding back into town here. So the trail basically connects to Vilcabamba. And right now we are riding back into Vilcabamba downtown. This is the vet actually, while we're here, Vilca Agro. There's a handful of vets in Vilca. This one is probably the most popular one. Um, he's got a good reputation. We use him a lot, actually. I didn't get, uh, I didn't get Gracie fixed with him because I had a recommendation from a friend, but uh, I think he's also very good. And then, let's go this way. This way. Oh. All right, so here we have AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, if you need that. And then right here we have the Holistic Dentist. So right here we have Katya, Ontologia, Holistica, Kinesiologia, Holistic Dentist, definitely recommended. All right, so the dentist was the, business, uh, the building right behind me here. So right here we have uh, kind of the outskirts, I guess the outskirts of downtown, <laughs> one block away from downtown. So. Uh, but it's you know as you can see very quiet little streets and let's go take a stroll downtown to the central park and go see what carnival did to vilcabamba see if it still looks a little bit crazy so right here we're driving into town we're driving into the town square um, and hola and there's about town square it's very quiet we still have the stage the escenario here that was put up for carnival but of course they are currently taking it down and then we'll take a little right here in front of the church Vilcabamba is back to normal carnival is over still our little quiet peaceful southern Andes mountains town very quiet and peaceful and beautiful. People are just sitting there, enjoying the weather, enjoying the beauty of this town. And let's head over to the gym now. And I am taking so, sort of the back road here, but um, we have the bus station here on the left. So if you take a bus from Loja, you will be arriving back here. They also have a transportation service, taxi service called Once de Mayo Taxi Ruta. They don't have them currently right now. But um, the taxi ruta, they, they get you to Loja. So they leave every 15 minutes to half an hour. Uh, it's four taxis and, sorry, four passengers per taxi. Cost $3 a person. So if you go by yourself, you will be sharing a taxi with three other people. Uh, but you get in Loja in uh, 45 minutes rather than an hour and 15 minutes on the bus. As the bus stops, not as fast and you know you're sharing with a lot more people but the bus is a dollar 75 if I'm not mistaken so uh, you're paying a little more for the taxi ruta but it's definitely a little bit more a little bit more uh, convenient and now we have arrived you can hear the music to gym Colombo, Ecuador there are rumors of another gym starting uh, we'll see what what happens with that but if not this guy is going to move the gym to a better location, much better. So I'm in favor of both. Uh, if, the, if the other gym comes about, that's great. If not, this is a great gym and he's gonna move to a better location. So let's go work out. As you can see, it's about 10 o'clock. There's nobody in here. Literally is, hey, how's it going? <laughs> There's, uh, it's very quiet, uh, good time to work out. Right, so we had a good workout. I didn't film everything. I feel a little bit awkward uh, filming in the gym. I see these videos of the fitness influencers putting a 
putting up their tripods and you know just filming inside the gym. I don't really particularly love to do that, but I want to show you guys a bit. Hola, ¿qué tal? What is what uh, what it looks like in the gym? As you can see, got a little bit of a cloudy day today, but still very nice. We're gonna go. There's Gracie. She was patiently waiting the whole time in front of the door. Uh, it's a big open door, so she, you know she could see me, but um, but she was very patient and. Uh, such a great dog. Vamos. And so let's go for a little coconut here. I'm gonna go to Sonia's coconut coffee shop right here. We got the coconut coffee shop. Here we are at the coconut coffee shop in Vilcabamba, Ecuador, right across the bus station. So we got the bus station. This is where we have the Sunday and Saturday organic market. The organic market's on Saturday, the other market's on Sunday. Here's a list of things that she has here for sale. There you go, that's great. Let's go in there and buy some coconuts. So as you come in, as you can see, there's quite a bit of different types of products, things, supplements, etc., food items as well. Here we have the kombuchas, the dairy, all kinds of dairy products. There's even vegan cheese, smoked tofu, vegan butter, Feta cheese, etc. And then down below, we've got a few coconuts. So let's just go ahead and grab one. Let's go ahead and grab this one right here. That looks pretty, pretty all right. Let's go back there and open this thing up. So right here, you can see I got it right to where you can start seeing the water drip. So put a straw in here. Fantastic after a workout. Drinking a coconut here with Sonia. All right, so I'm gonna attempt something here. So as you can see, once the coconut, you drink it, you have this flesh inside, right? Coconut meat. So I'm gonna open this up and see if Gracie would like to eat some. Of course, it's very delicious and healthy for people as well. I feel bad for the poor dog. She hasn't eaten since this morning, so I'm gonna do that right here. As you can see, this is the coconut meat inside. And you just grab a spoon and scoop it up. So this is definitely going to the dog. <laughs> we'll take it out right here. Crazy. Crazy. All right, so right here, I will show you how this is definitely edible. This is coconut, coconut meat or comida de coco, do they say it? Very nice. It's crunchy, high in fat, and uh, fresh. It's cold because those coconuts are kept in the fridge, so very delicious. The coconut is worth a dollar seventy-five. Uno setenta y cinco, ¿no es cierto? Yes. Yes, because uh, the prices have gone up a little bit. It used to be a dollar fifty. It's gone up to one twenty-five. Sorry, one seventy-five. So twenty-five cent increase. Inflation is hitting Ecuador. Just kidding. Uh, anyways. Science Coconut Shop. Let's head into town now. Let's go find Fernando and go see what else we can see. Once again, driving through town. I see some police here. Hello. Hola. This is the taxi company downtown. So there are four different taxi cooperatives. One of them is right here in the town square. And then we're gonna turn right and head over to the Vilcabamba Ecuador Real Estate Office. Abundant Living Ecuador. <laughs> is what I meant to say. Oh, nice. Here we have the Vilcabamba sign. Vilcabamba. Then I'm gonna head, head down to the office and let's go buy some meat. Let's go buy some food for this little hungry dog over there. All right, guys, made it to the office. We are gonna end the vlog here and we're gonna start for part two. Right now, Fernando just got here, so we're gonna go out and explore this beautiful valley. We hope to see you here one day. So until then, we'll see you next time. If you're interested in real estate properties, all of our property videos will now be uploaded on a different channel. Please click the link in the description down below.